So guys, I'm actually going to take the car for a drive today. I know the last one kind of disappointed you. Uh, I spent most of yesterday going to uh, Hunt Valley Cars and Coffee. Uh, if you've never been to that before, it's a pretty awesome event. It is not as big as, say, Lehigh Valley, uh, but it is a nice event, and it gets quality cars throughout. Um, there isn't really much of the Honda Civics, you know, Volkswagen GTIs, stuff like that, and nothing wrong with those cars, guys. I get it. No problems with them, but it seems to have nicer throughout cars, so you have a bunch of Lamborghinis, Ferraris, uh, GTRs, etc. It tends to have a bunch of very nice vehicles. Had a good time with that. Didn't really take any footage of it just because I've already gotten a little bit from it before, and I don't think you guys want to see repetitiveness when it comes to that. I think you'd rather see more stuff of the Supra. Maybe I'm wrong. Let me know down in the comments if you would like to see more of that stuff. Completely okay with me. But I want to run a couple errands today. Got to go see my buddy Cody. He actually just bought a WRX. Actually, it has NVIDIA exhaust on it, and it is dope. I fucking love this car. So I'm going to roll over there real quick, talk to him a little bit about his car, and uh, show you guys too. Also, I got to go over here and bounce over to my favorite place to eat, Mickey D's. Everyone's like, oh, Chick-fil-A, this, that, and the other. And I'm like, bro. Oh, fuck all these places old school i love mcdonald's that shit is bomb so let me get my out my lame ass neighborhood here real quackly and go get me some mickey d's oh McDonald's success. Now off to Cody's house to go check out the WRX, do a little quick video, and that should be all it, all I really have for today. Uh, every day is always different for me. I never know what I'm going to be doing, so maybe we'll do that. Maybe there's some other, other stuff I can get into today. I kind of just always go by the seat of my pants. I kind of have a bad habit of just kind of winging it all the time. That's just, I don't know, just easier for me and can do videos a lot faster that way. So let's get over there real quick because I'm fucking hungry. All right, guys, so I'm with Cody here today. Uh, we're in his new Subaru WRX. Uh, it's a 2015, correct? Yeah. Oh, of course, yeah, of course, it's a 2015. Um, he just bought this car recently and decided to upgrade to something a little different, I guess I'll put it, from what he's a lot, used to. A lot different. Than well, I'll let you go ahead and talk on it then. Well, for me to even buy a car is a big deal because being a general manager of a dealership, I can drive any car I want any day I want, any time I want. Um, but yeah, it's a lot different than what I'm used to. I'm a GM guy. I'm yeah. used to GM muscle, Camaros and Corvettes, all that good stuff. Um, so this is definitely out of uh, my comfort zone, that's for sure. Yeah, this is definitely not in your normal wheelhouse, as I'll put it. I mean, this is a cool car, though. Like, it's a fun car. I'm not a big Subaru guy. I know you said you sold them for a little while there. And they have a really loyal fan base for what you were telling me. Like, even when you're selling to them, you seem to have a lot of repeat customers that are coming in over and over to buy a new Subaru. Yeah. We saw it. Edit that shit. <laughs> 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 the repeat customers from uh, Subaru were insane when I worked with them. I mean, somebody that had an old 92 freaking Impreza. Yep would come back and buy a, you know a new Outback Sport or whatever it was nuts to see like how many people um, would come back to purchase purchase another Subaru more so than Chevrolet that's for sure and it's it's funny like I said hearing it for you who was such a diehard GM guy such a Chevy guy uh, from the core that it's hard to when you're someone that's that hardcore about a vehicle to admit that another brand has something like that that much brand loyalty um, and it's weird because you were working down south correct when you were selling them yeah, and there was no sleet, there was no snow. I mean, I was in South Carolina, and those people still went nuts over Subarus, and I never really got it. To be honest with you, I called them a bunch of vulgar names, to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> you thought, why in the world is everyone paying all this money for a Subaru with all-wheel drive down stuff? Well, you're paying for something you're not going to use. Maybe, like, the vehicle, but the, for what they're known for and what you're trying to purchase from them, it just, didn't, to me, doesn't even seem to make sense. But, like you said, like, once they get one, they seem to be hooked. Yeah, I mean, it's, uh... I never understood it until now. And I haven't signed the paperwork on this car yet. It's still my demo. Um, but just just the power that these cars have stock is just really, really, really amazing to me, honestly. So what got you like kind of pulled into this car? Like, what do you like about what stands out with this car that's maybe different from a GM or a Ford or anything else you've driven that what makes you want to purchase this car 
when you're able to already, like you said, you're able to take anything you want home. You brought home four Camaros, Mustangs, uh, Challengers. You brought home all these cool, fast cars, but you want a WRX. What makes this car so special? What makes this something you're willing to purchase? I mean, I think in the back of my head, like, I didn't want to be selfish when I bought a car this time because yep. I have a family. Um, so it's nice to know that, A, I have a little bit more power, even right. though it's not V8 power. But B, I can fit the kids in the back if we want to go somewhere. Right. If I was to buy a Camaro or if I was to buy a Corvette, I mean, that'd be pretty selfish. So not that this isn't. I mean, it's a big purchase. Sure, sure. Um, but this is much more but, practical. It has a rear seat. It's a bigger car. I mean, this is still based off the Impreza. It's called a WRX. Um, but it's still based off a base model Impreza, which is pretty much a four-door sedan comparable to, say, a Corolla, uh, anything of that nature. So, I mean, it's a very, you know, user-friendly vehicle, and holy shit, this car's quick. Oh, you did it! You missed a gear! Woo! Making me poop my pants. Woo! And that's the thing about this car, is it is fast. Uh, like, I don't want to go 120 miles an hour, personally. Right. I know you like that, oh, too. I love everyone. If you guys watch my channel over and over again, y'all know I love speed. I love going fast. I love doing anything where I can rip on the car. Uh, but, I mean, that zero, like, zero to 80, zero to 90 is kind of more what I'm interested in at this stage of my life. And um, not that this car is the fastest car, but for the money, it is. It's a lot of pep. And it still has everything that I said. Backseat. Um, the car's just nice, amenity. though. Yeah. It's I mean, like, sitting in this, like... This is not what, like, I was still thinking the older WRXs and, like, they were a little plasticier, maybe, or, like, cheaper feeling. This has a nice flat bottom steering wheel, leather wrap steering wheel, nice shifter, six speed transmission, big rear seal. It just pulls, too. Like, it has that low end torque. I like this. It, here in Pennsylvania, like, this is a perfect car. All wheel drive for these back roads like this. It just, the car does so well. Um, but the, like I was saying there, I mean, it has touch screen, it has a boost screen up here. You know, it shows your oil pressure, your temperature of your motor, uh, your, your throttle acceleration. It's just, it's a very cool car. Um, I, the one thing I got to drive it there, Cody let me drive it with her two nights ago. And I went to a hill, you know, stopped at the hill, there's cars coming, let off. And I let off and then I put my foot back on. He's like, why'd you do that? The car stops and holds itself for five seconds when you come to a hill to help assist you to not roll back. Anyone who's driven a clutch will know that when you get to a hill, especially when you're a younger driver, you always fret it over and you're worried because you don't want to be rolling back to the car behind you. Subaru, or maybe there's more car companies that do this now, that it holds you there for five seconds to help assist you in taking off from a hill. It was just the coolest thing. I thought it was so neat. But uh, that's just some of the cool features I've seen with this car myself. I'm not sure if there's anything else Cody's seen that he really enjoys, or like even this driving experience here. Yeah, I mean, uh, it's just, it's just fun to drive. It's, and there's just no other way around it. Um, and to put it in perspective too, Cody is not what I'd call a car guy. Let me frame that in a certain way. I'm a die-hard car guy. I love, I eat, sleep, and breathe cars, working on them. That's all I want to do. But I wouldn't want to sell them. I just don't, that's not for me. Um, where Cody is a die-hard, I shouldn't say salesman, but a businessman. I mean, he does very, he's very good at the car industry. He's very good at selling cars. He's very good at managing his people. That's just not for me. So this is different because now he's talking to me like, you know, what's going to intake? The car has an NVIDIA exhaust on it, Cobb access port, get some wheels. This is all stuff that's new to Cody where to me, I, I love it. It's cool to see someone that wasn't always into these kind of things is now interested in this type of project. Yeah. I mean, they, uh, I think, I think like being in the business and being around cars every single day, you get like a little, uh, I don't know, I'm not going to say like like stank to them but it's just uh it's just like an i always told ryan it's just another piece of metal sure um where i, I never really wanted to put any money into a car i've leased all my cars because um financially that's always been like the way to do it for me anyway so yeah. now to actually have something that we can do some stuff to and increase horsepower and you know um Make it a little bit louder than what it is. It's still pretty quiet. Yeah, the car is very quiet. It has a full cat back uh, exhaust from NVIDIA. And I swear to you, you can't even tell it has one on it. It sounds like it has that little bit of rumble, but nothing crazy. Like anyone who knows who has a Subaru uh, and they have the stock headers on them, they have that nice rumble and burble to them when you put an exhaust on them. This car really doesn't have that with this exhaust. And that's good and bad, I guess. You're looking for a little bit more rumble, but at the same time, you're a highway driver. You know, you're driving down to 
the city every day and you know that's going to get old when you're on the highway for 30 40 miles at a stretch you don't want to be listening to road noise and or I shouldn't say road noise exhaust noise the whole entire time going down yeah and that's that's another thing too like I, I want to drive this car you know I mean it's nice to have a demo because it's got because demos mean you get gas <laughs> you know the direct correlation it's not so much about the car to me I get the yep. free gas um but whoa there goes a Dodge truck he's burning tires oh good lord he thinks he's cool um but yeah so it's not so much about the uh should we go up the mountain or should we go back home let's go back up the mountain here real quick go ahead and let's see Cody romp on a little bit we'll give him a second here let's go ahead and see if Cody can romp on her a little bit well this is different than them V8 cars you know Gotta get used to a little bit of boost. Woo! Man, that thing's fun, boy. I like this car. It's so zippy. Like, I mean, I know you guys are probably thinking we'll ride your car's X amount of horsepower. And yes, my super is very fast, but this is just it's a different type of faster quickness to it that it's just fun. You know, that low end, like below 60, I mean this thing's like a go-kart, and it's just so much fun where my car down low sucks. So Cody, how would you end this here as a Mustang GT pulls right out in front of us? How would you like to end this video? What would you like people to know about this car and how you feel about these this type of industry and vehicles now? I mean, this specific car, I'm just gonna say that I'm, I'm pretty surprised. Um, I fought to buy this car for the dealership to resell it because I know the following that it has. I didn't really think that I was gonna buy it. Right. So um, I, guess the, I guess the one word to describe the car is kind of just surprised. Um, I mean, the car industry as a whole is pretty uh, pretty different than what it used to be, but I mean, there ain't much to say about that other than to just keep grinding, you know what I'm saying? Right, <laughs> I, I mean, I got you, man. Um, so guys, thank you very much. Cody and I are gonna finish out the day here driving this car <laughs> and enjoy it. I'll talk to you later, peace.